Today, King's Dominion announced that Volcano the Blast Coaster would be removed from the park. This was a one-of-a-kind Intamin launch coaster that would fire guests out of the top of a volcano at 70 miles per hour. On my first visit to King's Dominion in 2008, this was the best coaster in the park, and it's been outdone since then, but it remained one of the highlights of the park. It operated for 20 seasons, but was closed for most of the 2018 season, so when I got back to the park this past summer, unfortunately, it was closed. I didn't hear a lot of rumors about this actually being removed, so today's announcement was a surprise to me. But now everyone is going to speculate what will replace it. And I wouldn't get too excited if I was a King's Dominion fan. After all, the park stated that this would be removed because of reliability. They could not keep it up to the high standards of reliability. They did mention that it was done to enhance the overall guest experience at King's Dominion, which I guess could be interpreted as guests not being stuck in a two-hour line for a ride that breaks down every ten minutes. So not putting guests through that experience could be what they mean by that, rather than them having a grand plan for replacing this ride. And this is another blow for Intamin's shaky history in the U.S. And even though this coaster was 20 years old, it seems like Cedar Fair and other chains in this country will be less likely to rely on Intamin for a future investment. It took King's Dominion eight years between I-305 and Twisted Timbers to get a new coaster, and having just gotten Twisted Timbers, it's hard to believe they would have a quick turnaround for a big new coaster anytime soon. But maybe they'll surprise us. This one-of-a-kind coaster was still one of the best coasters in the park, so let me know in the comments below what you think may be replacing it, and when it might be coming to the park. And I will see you guys all next time. Thank you.